Hello and welcome back guys. So we have our login and sign up pages, but we have no way of actually clicking anywhere here to get to them unless we type something in the URL. So let's add links to those. Now, since this is not the kind of website where you want everyone to sign up and log in, um, what we want to do is put those uh, those things down here those links to the login and sign up maybe down here so what i will do is let's go to our project here and let's look at the views and let's look at the footer so here there's information about the footer so you can change this information obviously to suit your needs that's uh, entirely up to you what you write in here. So for now, what I want to do is put some, uh, what do I want to do here? Put login and sign up right here. Okay, there we go. So right underneath here, I'm just going to say A like that. And then this is going to go to, let me zoom in so you can see better. I will put those blade thingies there and say URL login. Now remember that we don't really have a sign up page. We just have a login page per se. It's the same page. So here I would just say login. But at the same time, I will put one that says sign up. We'll figure out how to select between the two. So I'm just going to say sign up like so and put sign up here. So obviously we'll add security to the sign up page because we don't want anyone to just sign up as they please, but we can leave the login as it is like that. So let's refresh here for a second. And now you see we have a login and sign up. So let me click on um, login here so we can go to the login page. There we go. Okay. So login page successful. Now we need, to, since these are on the same page, this is just a login page. It also has the sign up page. We need to know between the two. Uh, oh, actually, they lead to separate pages. So I think uh, that will be enough. Okay, so the thing is um, we need to create several controllers to run all these pages that we have created here. Now, making controllers can take a while, especially if there are a lot of pages. And then on top of that, uh, let me go to my controllers here. Let's see what I am talking about. Oh, we don't have a controller yet. But what I'm going to do is let me create just one controller here. I'm going to go to, um, let's see what pages we have. We have the index page. We have the login page. We have the single page here. Hmm. Okay, so let me show you something here. Um, let's go to Artisan, um, say open containing folder. Let's do another CMD here so we get our page. Now, if you go and say uh, PHP Artisan and just press enter so that we see all the Artisan uh, controls or commands that are there. Now, the first time you do this, it takes a little bit of a time. Okay. So what I'm looking for here is this part called stub. So there's a stub and stub publish. So stub publish is the one I want. So this one says publish all stubs that are available for customization. So stubs are files that, uh, they are skeletons of files. So let's say, for example, you are creating a controller. You're going to run this command, make controller. So what happens is uh, uh, Laravel is going to get what is called a stub file, which is the skeleton file that describes how the controller should look like. And then it's going to just create a new template from that. So those are called stub files where it's copying from so normally if let's say here i type php artisan make controller now i want to make a controller for the um, let's try for the logout so i'm just going to say logout 
controller and enter so the controller was created just fine if I come here I will find the controller now you see how the controller looks like it's completely bare bones there's no function in here but every time when I create a controller I know I must create at least one index function and uh, sometimes I may want to use the DB facade here so what I can do if I publish my stubs here I can edit how the controller looks like from the moment I create it that will save me some time because I may not need to create functions anymore so let me show you what I mean here I'm just going to say uh, PHP artisan I will say stub publish and press enter so once I do that you notice that a new folder was created here called stubs and then there are files in here so many many stubs so let's look at this one controller plane stub you see this it looks very familiar uh, to this right let's go back here okay so the only difference is in this stub there are placeholders here namespace root namespace class name etc etc so this is where the Laravel will fill in the blanks these are variables of course so instead we can edit this stub inside stubs here stubs controller plane now there are many of these you can edit depending on the things you make uh, models middleware etc so let's edit this one real quick I'm just going to say public function here now if you think you've messed up your stub for, for any reason and you don't want to use these templates just delete it from here and if Laravel doesn't find the stub here it's just going to use the default one then you can republish these stubs anytime you want so public function index like so and then in here I will put requests because these are things that I normally do all the time so this will save me some time here and I'm just going to say return view and just put view there because I don't know what view I'm going to add there this is a template I am creating so I can add uh, more functions here maybe the save function or whatever it is that I want for example I can add the save function here <clears throat> and do save like so and add a view there and maybe I can do validate like that is equal to and then say request uh, validate like so go this way and do that so what I'm doing here is just saving myself some time I'll say key whatever that key is going to be and this will be required uh, maybe a string put a comma uh, required maybe uh, I don't know image then here maybe I can add um, let me duplicate this use uh, support and then I go to facades and then I go to DB something like this okay so this is just an example so I save this now I have improved the template for the controller instead of just being plain as it was so now what happens if I go back to artisan let me create a new controller now say PHP artisan make full colon controller in the controller name I'm looking at the views here I have a login page and uh, let's create one for the login so say login controller and hit enter so it was created and if I go here and look at the login controller you see that it has more much much more than just the bare bones situation so this could save you some time and let's see what else are we creating we're creating the single uh, controller so redo that controller name will be single uh, I don't know single view controller I'll just say single controller like that good and what else do we need mm, footer header index still home I think that's about it so we have logout we have login we have single view and we always or already have the we don't actually have the home controller now do we 
No. So we need that as well. So let me just put if one home controller enter. Okay, great. Now let's exit Artisan like so and look at our controllers. So there we go, home controller, logout, single controller. Very good. 